I've consulted around the world and companies bring me in and they say, will you take a look at my system, Tom, and tell me what I could do better here. That's a lot of pressure. These are some of the largest data warehouses in the world. But the one thing I always tell them, there'll be no stone left unturned. I'll look at everything. And that's the beauty of experimentation, creating a CTOS table and distributing it differently or organizing it differently or sorting it differently and seeing what the differences are for this environment. I want you to realize that you may come into a table and say, I made that a CBT, I organized it by these columns, and now it didn't work out so well. I need to bring this back, and here's how you do it. You can alter the table, and you can organize on none, and that will take the CBT and no longer make it a CBT. Before you go out on that special date, you like to groom yourself so you're looking your best? Call me. Okay, now, that's what you have to do with these tables. You've just changed this CBT table back to a normal table and you said, it's done. It's not done because you haven't groomed it. Groom the table and it will physically change. To create a CBT, you specify the organizing keys. After you do this, records are inserted into the CBT as they would be for a non-CBT table. In other words, they are not yet in CBT form. You must invoke the groom table command and then and only then the teaser reorganizes the records based on the specified organizing keys. Your CBT is then ready for action. Remember, the groom command does two things. It organizes the records for a table so that your related records are relocated to the same extents. Now the CBT is ready to roll. It also removes the deleted and outdated records in user tables and reclaims that disk space. And it runs in the background so users can still do inserts, updates, and deletes, and of course selects on the table without any interruption. There are 24 extra bytes in front of every row of every Natiza table. The row ID, the distribution key's been hashed. The create XID that knows which transaction created these records. And if it's a non-zero in the delete XID, that row's either been updated or deleted. It's not really there logically, it's just there physically and you can get a lot of these rows. They take up a lot of space. And when you're ready to groom and clean this up, you run the groom command and everything is just beautiful here at the bottom because it gets rid of all deleted rows. Groom table records ready, groom table records all. Those are the only two choices you have when you groom. If you do the records ready, it's going to groom all records it hasn't groomed before. If you do records all, it's going to do them all in the table. Those are your choices for the groom command. If you want to see what tables are being or have been groomed, just go to NZ Admin or there are system tables, underscore V, underscore groom, underscore status, and you can check out that system table to also see this information. You may want to know which CBT tables have been groomed or haven't been groomed, and you can go to NZ Admin and do it that way, or V underscore table underscore organize, and that's the system table, and that will show you this information also. Now, if you're in NZ Admin and you happen to look down here and you say, hey, that says 0%, then it hasn't been groomed. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.